Okay, guys, this is uh, from Guns in the News. Firearms are the people's liberty's teeth. It is for Americans to grin in the face of tyranny. And that's from Guns in the News, October 4th, 2019. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, I want you guys to go read that so you understand. Now, once I understand something else, before we get too deep into this, seems like a lot of people are trying to sabotage our Constitution. These people are not uh, law-abiding people that are doing this. They are breaking the law by not upholding their oath of office. They are un-American, they are socialist, and therefore communist. Now let's get into the article here a minute. When government takes away its citizen's right to bear arms, it becomes a citizen's duty to take away the government's right to govern. To govern. You're saying George Washington said that. It's interesting how this is playing out in front of the people in the country when it becomes more uh, illegal enroachments or infringements upon law-abiding gun owners. Remember, they accuse the law abiders of the crimes of the law breakers. Here's how it's played out. On one side, you got divide and conquer. You have Donald Trump sold to you as, as a Republican who calls for illegal red flag laws, which are not law. In the end, they will be aimed at their political opposition. On the other hand, we have those who are sold to you as Democrats who are calling for the removal of AR-15s and other semi-automatic weapons. The runners want to get... They got a long-term thing here, and they got an agenda to bring us down to the same level as third-world countries. They want your firearms so that we can have a one-world government. Somebody wants control. Which do you defer? Do you prefer small infringements through the good guy Donald Trump or complete disarmament by the bad guy? Either way, you are being disarmed and tyranny wins out. I would advise everyone to take heed of what President George Washington, who is responsible for arming the citizenry, that we are to guard ourselves against impost impostures or pretend patriotism. If you're paying attention, uh, this not only is leading through created opposition, but it's happening through what is called the Helgean dialect. Helgean dialect is, defer is defined as a framework for guiding thought and actions in the conflict that lead to synth synth yeah. Synthetic solutions of a proposition having truth are falsely determined by the recourse to experience, which can only be introduced once you have been manipulated enough to, to a side that will produce a predetermined agenda or the outcome. Donald Trump just spoke to the NRA, claiming that, that the left is coming for your guns, but he ignored the fact that he and his right are coming for them too. A shocking report that there have been 55 gun laws passed in just the last five months with bipartisan support to limit your right to own a gun. And they call themselves, you know, honorable. Recently, the mainstream media pushed for unconstitutional debates and their communist candidates included Beto O'Rourke and his gun confiscation plan. Not only is it voluntary, it's mandatory, O'Rourke said, O'Rourke said in his proposal, it will be the law. You will be required to comply with the law. Then he went on to say, <laughs> the problem with Mr. O'Rourke here is it is not law nor will it ever be law regardless what he or any other communist candidate wishes you to believe. The Constitution shall never be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceful citizens from keeping their arms. Samuel Adams, Massachusetts, ratifying the convention in 1788. Americans, where have these anti-gunners received delegated authority to advance their agenda? They did not receive it from we the people. Have Americans really become this dumbed down as to believe that representative changing laws that, that counter our rights? Our rights didn't come from the state's generosity. They came from the hand of God, period. <clears throat> Even John Kennedy said, the right of man does not come from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. When you hear Cory Booker, 
uh, Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi, William Barr, Maxine Walters, a Donald Trump, a Elizabeth Warren, and Alexandra or Kasia Cortez, uh, or any other representative, regardless of what office they occupy, they attempt to implement what that which is unconstitutional. Ask this question. Where are you people de deriving your authority from? Representatives of this government in this country have, in fact, sworn to uphold the laws found in the U.S., not in the Constitution. Representatives of government in this country have, in fact, sworn to uphold the laws found in the U.S. Constitution, not to tear it down and re recreate it into an ungodly image of the United Nations. Look into history. George Mason warned us that those who mean to disarm mean to enslave. They mean to be your masters while you become their slaves. And the best way to enslave people is to disarm them. How many times have I broadcasted on air that you are either deal lawfully with corrupt anti-government politicians for violating our Bill of Rights or you disarm? There is no in-between. If Americans do not want to learn from history, then Americans will learn from experiencing yeah. Look for an example of our forefathers exhibited not only writing in mind, but also in action. Our forefathers armed the people for a very purpose for what is happening in America today. Either American people are going to throw off tyranny, or their tyranny, or their tyrants will throw off your rights. Americans must come to terms with that corrupt politicians are not the type that you can help or rehabilitate. They are the type that must be lawfully removed or you will lose your God-given right. The tree of liberty has to be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. President Thomas Jefferson. You must fight for your God-given rights. It is the difference between a free people and an enslaved people. There is no in-between. Firearms are second to the Constitution in importance because they are the people's of liberty teeth. Therefore, Americans, it's time to grin in the face of tyranny. We can see clearly that King George is not ruled by God in his role as king, and because of that, the founders threw him off. This article was posted with permission from the Sons of Liberty Media, article by Bradley Dean. Like I said, I'll put a link down here, people. you got to look at this. And from now on, get rid of these people, whether uh, lawfully or unlawfully, but they must be removed. This is our country, and apparently it's not theirs. They want to change this. They're, they're making way to, to bring in the new world order, where just a few people control the entire world. All these little wars you see, it's, it's the same thing going on. Sending our troops overseas is not fighting for America. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'll put a link in there. You check it out. Read it yourself so you understand in case I goofed up any words, <laughs> which is normal. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.